Hi, I'm James, and in this video we're taking a look at how to download the latest version of Windows 11, rather than going through the upgrade from Windows 10 to download it as an ISO file and clean install onto a system. So in this case we are going to go to the website uupdump, so uupdump.net, and while the latest version of Windows 11 has officially been tagged as a beta release, it still appears as a dev channel release. So we are going to go into where it has here, dev channel. And this will give us the latest developer channel builds on the site. So what we are going to do is click on Windows 11 Insider Preview. We can get the choice of language uh, because I'm in the UK, I'm going to choose English UK. Click next. We can choose the desired versions that we want in our build. So I'm going to leave that on the default option. Again, hit next. And we can see with this, it is going to download and convert to ISO. Uh, so this will give us a image that we can write to USB stick and boot from. And it tells us what our total download size is going to be. So I'm going to choose to download and create this package. This then gives us a file here. We are going to extract this into its own folder and then run the download file. Smart screen will query this. We say run anyway. Confirm the uh, command prompt and this will then fetch the necessary files to build this ISO. Now obviously this is going to take a while, so we're going to leave this recording and I will speed it up to fast forward through to the end. Now, almost a full two hours after we began, the script has now completed and we are left with what we can see here. An ISO file in the folder sized 5.447 gigabytes. Now to create our bootable uh, USB stick, we are then going to go, so Windows key and X and disk management. We have our USB stick here and we are going to delete the primary partition on this. We then want to create a new simple volume. So we want to create a one gigabyte partition, which we are going to call. So we're going to create that as FAT32 and call it boot. And with the rest of the stick, we will then create an NTFS partition and we're going to just rename that, call it data. We are then going to mount our ISO image just by double clicking it.
and we are then going to select all of these files and folders except for sources and we are going to copy them to boot we are then going to go into here into sources and find the boot.wim put it on the D drive create a sources folder and place boot.wim inside We are then going to go back to our mounted ISO image and copy the entire contents onto data. With that complete, we're now ready to shut down the system and begin the install process. And so by choosing the bootable device here, it took a bit of trial and error because I had to select actually the second device, not the first, to be able to boot from this correctly. And we boot into a familiar looking Windows installer. Uh, this is the same booting from the USB stick as you'd expect when you do Windows 10 install. We are going to go through and agree with the licensing, install Windows only. We are going to remove all the partitions on this device because there is nothing I wish to retain. Obviously do not do this on a system where you have data that you wish to keep. And the system will continue to install as you would expect as normal.
So after this completes, we are brought into the new out-of-box experience where we can walk through the initial setup of Windows 11. So we're going to select our country and region. Because we downloaded the United Kingdom based uh, install medium, this comes up with the defaults as you'd expect. And it's quite a nice new look on this compared to the uh, fairly stale now Windows 10 out-of-box experience. The system will always check for updates. Now I did previously um, connect this to my wireless and run through the setup and I've sys prepped it back to standard. So it may skip the network connection dialog as I have already completed that and it already knows my wireless network. I had to do this to get um, drivers installed. So the machine has taken an update and it's going to restart before continuing with the process. And we are then walked through license agreement. We can give our machine a name or skip. I'm going to call it the laptop model and that it is running Windows 11. And so the system already knows the wireless network, so we have skipped this. And you have no way of setting up the device without connecting to the internet or joining with a Microsoft account. Um, I'm going to sign this in with my work email and password. And this will add the Microsoft account. There is, unlike uh, Windows 10, where you can connect, uh, well, sorry, refuse to connect to the internet, and then create a local account, you can no longer do that, at least on these preview versions of Windows 11. I am going to skip the fingerprint enrollment for now, although I do like to use them typically. Now, this is something which I also had last time I ran through, one of the pages fails to load on this build here. Fortunately, we can skip it. We are going to set this up as a new device because I do not wish to restore data. And one thing I don't like currently is while we can select these options with up and down and enter, I can't just keep hitting enter to accept. I have to manually hit the accept button each time. Um, which is something when you're just testing things, it's quite nice to very quickly be able to skip through these options. There are some options to customize the experience with different applications and things pre-installed, but again, we can skip that. I'm going to say, do not back up my files because again, I'm just using the system for test purposes and don't want it polluting my main account. I do not wish. And so we are finally presented with the Windows 11 start menu and home screen. Now, obviously I'm going to be playing with this a bit more in the coming weeks, but I hope you found this video useful just in terms of how to get started getting a clean install rather than having to do the upgrade from Windows 10 onto a system. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Hit like if you found this video helpful and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos as we post them. Thanks for watching.